Hey guys, sorry about the lighting um, and my hair. Um, school's starting in like five days, um, not including this evening. But um, I have the lights on because if I don't have them on, the color goes really weird. This is probably not my natural skin color. Um, so sorry if it's really, really light. So as you guys can probably tell by the title, I am doing a tour kind of like um, our haul. I don't know what you guys want to call it. Um, sorry if that just froze. Um, of my school kit because I'm doing a school haul. Oh my gosh, school series. And so I'm doing what's in my um, pencil case and what's in my makeup bag. I can't even close it. Um, I won't be bringing that much makeup. Um, I just put that in there for now because those are the things that I'll probably bring to school. Um, I normally bring the makeup that I'm wearing that actual day so that I could just touch it up during the day at recesses and breaks and stuff and between periods. Um, sorry if I keep on saying um. So, yeah, so I guess I'll show you guys what's in my pencil case first. And before I get started, this is my pencil case. It's just black. It's not normally a pencil case. I really like it because it's really big. It's really bulky right now because I have a ton of stuff in there, tons of stuff. And I can't even fit my calculator from Walmart. And I got this at the office, the office section, not the school part because, um, I don't know, I just... I just saw the office section and I was like, how come they have school stuff over there? And then I realized it was the office section. And this was only a buck. And it remembers three numbers. Um, or, sorry, it remem remembers, like, three numbers, it says. But it works pretty fine. And I couldn't also find my miniature, put in my miniature eraser thing. It's like a little soup bowl. It's super cute. Um, yeah, and I also couldn't fit in my mechanical pencils, which I haven't opened yet. This is by DIC Bic, whatever you want to call it, and it comes in blue, green, pink, and purple, and 0 0.7 lead. And it's over, they're already, like, have, like, four pieces of lead in there already. So that's why if you guys can see the lead thing, it looks, like, half empty. Which I can just go to the box store and buy lead because it works perfect there, I find. And I also got this eraser. It's a scented eraser from last year. Um, I still have a full one of this, so I'm still going to use it because it's really good. And this year, all I got was dollar store erasers. I know, guys. I got dollar store erasers because I had, I knew I had more expensive erasers from last year. Um, and like, I don't know, I just bought dollar store ones to hand out to my friends or like if I needed them really quickly because they work too. And this one, I'm not sure where you guys can get it. This was in, um, I don't know, this wasn't the peppermint flavor, there, or not flavor, scent. There was a peppermint scent and cherry. This one was cherry. It smelled super good. It didn't really smell like cherries, but it smelled really, really good. Um, I got this at a book fair at my school. It smells like so good, so I have a little bit of cold left over. And sorry for my hair, I just threw it up. School starting soon, so yeah. So this zips all the way down and I'll open it. It's gonna be hard to close. So this is what it looks like. Sorry guys. So first what you probably saw was this highlighter. I got this also from the dollar store. Um this is an Office Works one. I find they work perfect. They work just like the um expensiver ones, like I don't know the brands. But um, they work perfectly. Like if I if they run out or they're I buy them and they're already run out, I can just go back and spend a dollar and it's just really worth it. Here I'll swatch it on my hand. Like that's purple and um, it looks really dark, but it's actually lighter than that. I'm starting to dry lighter now. Like it just looks exactly like the other ones. Um, so I got purple, orange. I'll sw swatch this one too. Sorry if you guys can see that little clump I pushed down too hard. A hot pink one. Pink's my favorite color. Well, hot pink. I'll swatch that too. It's in the middle. Um, and then a uh, yellow one, which um, we have to have a yellow one in the class that I'm going into. She gave a little bit of tips before we left because I'm going into grade 7, 8 split class. Um, so, yeah, so she said we needed the main color yellow and orange, so I got those ones. I'll swatch that one, too. I didn't really do it that good. 
But yeah, these really work. Um, I got them last year. I didn't even, my stepdad actually didn't tell me they're from the dollar store. And I thought they were from Walmart, and I told my friends, and they all believed me. And then one day they were like, oh, I saw them at the dollar store. So I went there, and they were there, so I got some more. And I also got this thing. I really recommend this. I got this at the Dollar Tree. This is the Oracle 2INE. Um, this is an eraser up here. You just pop off the lid. And then it's got a sharpener here, and you can, like, spin the thing to close it so that the little lead pieces don't fall out. And then the bottom just comes off to take off the lead. And actually, the sharpeners really work. I had two of those. I have another one, which a green cap and lead other stuff. Um, I've got these really cute food erasers. I freaking love these. Um, this one's a little ice cream, sorry guys, um, with a little thing at the top. I wish it didn't have this thing at the top, but got what I got. I actually got this from my sister's friend. Um, she was selling these to try to get money for school supplies. So yeah, then I've got this little shish kebab thing, candy shish kebab. And, um, ugh, why do these markers keep on opening? But I've got a whole bunch of these pencil topper things. And I forgot to put it in here, but I have one pencil, like, where you have to sharpen them, not mechanical wooden pencils. And I'm probably going to have three that I'm going to bring because my friends always ask me for pencils. And I don't want to say, like, no, I feel bad. Um, so, yeah, I've got this humongous permanent marker, which I got in a different pack than my permanent marker that I'm about to show you. This is really, really big. It's really good. I love this one. And then these permanent markers, I got in a pack of eight. With a whole bunch of color, here's red, here's, there's a red one, um, and one of, two of them didn't work. Sorry if you guys see my dog. Yeah, we have to get that checked out at the bed. Um, then I've got, also got a smaller black one, and this, um, shiny one. It's like a shiny blue one. You guys can see that top color there. It's really pretty. Um, this came in a separate set, and I actually forgot at the back, you can pull off, and there's like that type of thing. It's like gel or whatever you want to call it. Um, actually, I really like these. I had another one, but I used it all. Um, our school's different than other schools. Um, um, it's one school, and you have your class. You don't go to different classes for math. You don't have lockers. You have hooks. Um, you have one class throughout the whole year, except for the French room, which is downstairs. But yeah. Next, I have these Pip Squeak markers. I freaking love these. These I really recommend. This is my school favorite. I swatched it right there. And um, this is by Crayola. They're so good. Um, they're really easy to wash off because me and my friends normally like right on our face at recess, and then we wash it off. That's why I have a makeup kit. And um, so I get the miniature ones. Sorry, those flying me. Because I don't go through the big ones. Like sometimes I do, but I can just go back and buy these, and they're really cheap. They're like five or six dollars. Sorry, my dog. Um, these are the doll store racers that I was talking about. They're really, really flimsy, but they really work. Like, I wish I could show you guys, but I don't have anything. Then I have a Bic pen from last year. Um, I have a couple of them. It looks like it's used, but I've never used this one. So, yeah, I have more in here somewhere. And I've got a whole bunch of Crayola um, pencil crayons. I know I might sound like a kid having all these things, but we have to have them. So, yeah, then I've got a whole bunch of these larger Crayola um, what are they called? Crayons? Because, um, for art, we have to have these also. Um, I have a white one right now. I should show you guys a different one. Um, but, so yeah, I got the bigger ones because always the small ones break in my pencil case. Yeah. Oh, and I have one piece of gum in here. Um, because there's like these mesh side pockets that like, they flick when you pull them, so like other stuff can't get in it. So I put gum in one, and I have also an Elmer's disappearing glue thing and some more pencil toppers. So that's what I have in there, and sometimes I'll keep a blister. That's my fruit smoothie. Um, so yeah, so now to my makeup kit. And before I get started, I wanted to show you guys my, um, I thought this was really cute. I got this a couple years ago. I used it for like half the year. Um, this is my lunch pail. It's super cute. I love it. It looks like a miniature backpack. I did use this for a backpack for a while um, because I wasn't coming home with homework. I have this since grade 3. I'm going into grade 7 this year. So, yeah, and there's a little um, frog that sits in here, and you just strap it in, and it's got a back pocket for your lunch money. I got this from Europe, by the way. Yeah. So this is an old pencil case. I was going to use it this year, but nothing fits. 
Um, so yeah, so at the first pocket, so if this video is really long, um, I have a gum pack and it has nothing in it. No gum. Well, it has something in it. I'll show you guys. Um, a little baggie with two pills. <coughs> um, we're not allowed pills at school unless it's prescribed by the doctor. Um, but these are like <coughs> for headaches and stuff because I always get headaches at schools where my friends get them. That's why I have two. Um, and <coughs> can't concentrate if I have a headache or menstrual pains. I'll probably bring pills for that too. But yeah, then I have a little notebook. I pro I keep it in here um, because I have no room in my bag, so I just put it in there. But I'll probably be keeping it. It's for anything, not not just makeup, but it's really cute. I have a larger one, except it's um, blue zebra print. And then I've got a not open gum pack. This is my second favorite type of gum. Uh, the other five react one where the gum is like black, but it's like minty. That's my favorite. Um, so yeah, one second, guys. I'm just going to put this all back. Sorry, it's like 11 minutes. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm trying to go through this fast. And then in the big zipper, I have my red one, I think this is, color. And this is 875, and it's done. I'm sorry, it kind of got smushed today. But I'll just watch this. It's a really gold color. Oh, my gosh, you guys can see that. Do you guys see it? Yeah, I really love it. It doesn't go on that dark either. Um, I've got this lip lip by Bonnie Bell and this is pink can can. This is my favorite. I put it as a lip finisher. I already explained why I have so much makeup at the starting of this video. So, yeah. Um I also have soap. Okay, this is like T T or not T T Y L T M I. Um but if you have your period and you put on tampons, you have to wash your hands before you do this. So you're going to need soap. And my bathroom always runs out of soap. So I just got a little shampoo thing. It's shampoo slash soap. And this is the Villa collection. I got that out of a hotel I stayed in. Then my Revlon Sunlit Sparkle, my favorite color ever. Um, this New York Colors NYC brush on lip glaze. This is my favorite brush. I wish all lip glosses were like this. Like that, those type of brushes. Yeah. Instead of the one that I just showed you by Bonnie Bell, I don't really like these ones. So yeah, sorry, getting into makeup. Um, then I have a miniature Revlon mascara. This is really old. I don't know if they sell this anymore. It's really small, like compared to my lash blast thing. Like, oh my gosh, I did not notice this. But this is the same size as my lash blast. I'm totally going to bring this to school. This is my favorite. Um, but yeah, I, I guess I'll bring this because it's almost out anyways. Um, the bristles like broken, but it's just for like touch-ups. I already have mascara on, so it's not really going. Well. But yeah. Um, then I have this dollar store. I said it dollar store lip gloss. I put this on all the time. It's literally my favorite um, over cover of a lip thing. Like I'll show you guys. It's like this ooze tube things. Sorry, there's a hair in it. Ew. And I squeeze it. It smells really good. Just adds a lot of shine. I love it so much. It's so good. It doesn't burn your lips like most dollar store lipsticks do. So yeah. Then this is like my fall and winter favorites. Um this is the Wet Sticks Amazing Mint. My favorite. I love this color. It gives so much color to your lips. Um, I got another Blistex thing, my eye thing applicator, this hair thing by BioAge, it's a matrix color shine sh care shake, it's like leave-in conditioner or whatever. Um, Colgate Sensitive Relief, because if my teeth are stained or I need to clean my teeth at school because my breath stinks, that's why I also have gum. Um, so I just have a miniature one, it's like the size of my miniature mascara thing. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I've also got this. So, yeah. So, basically, that's all I'm going to bring this year. Not all that makeup, but, yeah. So, I'll probably be making more videos even when school starts. I start on September 4th. Um, sorry if I'm making videos really late. Um, I'm going to be making a What's in My School Bag a week after school starts. So, yeah. So, thanks for watching my video. Sorry. Bye. <laughs>